Hi morning everyone, this is my new video. Today I would like to discuss our question from uh, self-exercise 3.8 textbook page 113. Okay, so question number one, the diagram on the right shows the cross-section of a rectangular foot cover which is parabolic in shape and it's presented by the equation y equals negative kx squared where y is the height in meters and x is the radius of the foot cover in meters. Okay, 1a show that k equals to 1 over 50. So now given equation uh, y equals to negative kx squared, uh, this is parabola with maximum point. Okay, meaning that this is quadratic equation set curve. Okay, so from the diagram, we try to draw x axis and y axis. So now we have, uh, we know that general form of quadratic is y equals to ax squared plus bx plus c. Now we have equation y equals to negative kx squared. So meaning that uh, no value of b and c. So from the diagram, we can predict the position of x, x axis and y axis. Okay. So this is uh, x axis. Okay. And this is y axis. Okay. So meaning that start from origin. Okay. Start from origin. Okay, so uh, then uh, since of uh, the uh, length here is 100, so this one 50, this one negative 50. Okay, this one uh, y, uh, y intercept, oh, sorry, y, value of y is negative 50. Okay, so this point is uh, 50, negative 50. And this point is negative 50, 50. Oh, sorry, negative 50, negative 50. So, negative 50, negative 50. Okay, so then we can substitute into the equation, into this equation, any point. Okay, that touch the curve. Okay, so let's say I choose uh, this point. Okay, so I choose coordinate... 50, negative 50. So, this is x, this is y. So, we put into our equation. So, y is 50. Sorry, negative 50. So, this one negative kx is 50 squared. Okay. So, therefore, uh, k equals to 50. Negative, negative, positive. Okay. Over 50 squared. So, k equals to 1 over 50. So, shown. 1B, find the internal volume of the foot cover in terms of pi. Okay, internal volume, meaning that this one. Okay, this area, we rotate about Y to find the uh, volume. Okay, so if rotate about Y, we write the formula first. V equals to pi AB dy. So, this one X squared. Okay, so then we substitute all the values of uh, a, B, and X squared. Okay, so uh, from previous answer, Y equals to negative K is 1 over 50. 1 over 50 X squared. So, X squared equals to negative 50 Y. So, we substitute into the formula. So, pi, uh, okay, lower limit for this one is negative 50. Okay, sorry. Um, okay, this one, negative 50, upper limit is 0. So, negative 50, 0. X squared is negative 50 Y dy. Okay, so we integrate. So, negative 50 Y squared over 2. Uh, 0, negative 50. Okay, so then we substitute upper limit by uh, negative 50 over 2 times 0 squared minus... Um, this one negative 50 over 2 y is negative 50 squared okay so the final answer will be 62,500 pi okay um, centimeter squared a uh, centimeter cube 
Okay, question number two. The yearly rate of depreciation of the price of a car is given by S prime T equals to A over 1000 times 20 minus T, where A is the original price of the car in RM and T is the number of years after being bought. Okay, A given that the original price of a car is 48,000. Find the price of the car after seven years. Okay, from the question given rate, of depreciation s prime t so s prime t is rate of depreciation okay so meaning that s t is depreciation Okay, so we know that uh, integrate is inverse process of differentiation. Integration is inverse process of differentiation. So to find S T from S prime T, so we need to integrate. Okay, so S prime T just now given A over 1000 times 20 minus T. Okay, so we integrate both sides. Okay, so integrate. Sorry. Integrate S prime T with respect to T equals to integrate this one. We expand first. We get A over um, 50 minus A T over 1000. Okay, so we integrate with respect to T. So this one integrate S prime T is S T. Okay, equals to A T over 50 minus 80 squared over 2000 okay plus c okay because this is um indefinite integral so no upper and lower limit so we must put plus c okay but um, uh, no no information from the question so we assume c is zero so when t equals to zero so s equals to zero then c equals to Zero. So therefore, S T equals to A T over fifty minus A T squared over two thousand. Okay. So back to the question. Okay. So um. A, given that the original price of a car is 48,000, find the price of the car after 7 years. Okay, so A, uh, we need to find the price of car after uh, 7 years. So, we just substitute T equals to 7 into the equation. So, A, original price is 48,000 times 7 over 50. Okay, minus 48,000 times 7 squared over 2 thousand okay so this one is um five five four four okay this is uh depreciation okay so to find uh to find price after seven years okay so to find price after seven years meaning that you have to uh original to find original a price minus the depreciation so we get the price after seven years so forty eight thousand minus five five four four equals to forty two thousand four hundred fifty six ringgit okay to be if the original price of a car is for uh, eighty eight thousand five hundred find the percentage of depreciation of the car after five years okay same thing we need to use uh the the equation of uh depreciation just now is this one okay this is the uh formula we need to use this formula okay so we put into here okay so i rewrite s t equals to a t over 50 minus a t squared over 2000 okay now t is 7 years okay so we just substitute t equals to 7 so uh, sorry 5 5 years so s5 equals to a is 88500 uh, t is 5 over 50 okay minus 88 uh, 500 times 5 squared over 2000 okay this one is equals to uh, 7 
743.75 ringgit. Okay, this is the depreciation after 5 years. Okay, so to find the percentage, okay, uh, percentage of depreciation, meaning that the depreciation divided by the original value times 100%. Okay, so percentage of depreciation is 7743.75 over original is 88,500 times 100%. Okay, so this one is 8.75%.